Hey, it's your book hound coming at you with another review today. If you like what you see here, hit subscribe. We've got reviews and cool special offers coming at you every week. This week we're talking about Gated Prey, which is an Eve Ronan novel by uh, Lee Goldberg. Lee Goldberg is a very talented and prolific author. He's written a ton of books, including the Monk series, which is why, which is where you may know him from. But he's written a lot of interesting series. And Eve Ronan is one of his new creations. So Eve Ronan is a 26-year-old homicide investigator in the LA, LA Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, the LASD, which is a law enforcement agency that has responsibility for certain areas of the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles, uh, where they're the only law enforcement agency around. They also have a lot of jurisdictional conflicts with, with the LAPD and other agencies, which is sort of a theme in the Eve Ronan mysteries. But Eve Ronin is an interesting character. She's only 26 years old, but she is a full homicide investigator. And she got this job because she was recorded on video punching out a world-famous action movie star who's nicknamed Blood Fist uh, because he was beating his wife in a parking lot. So this video made her famous, and she leveraged this fame to... Uh, leapfrog her way up to this position. She's not really entitled to be a homicide investigator. She's far too young and has very little seniority. So she bypassed a lot of more experienced detectives. But the LASD wanted her in this role because she's like young and attractive and interesting and a heroine. She stands up for the for women who are being abused. And they could use the p good PR because the sheriff's office is mired in scandal. And this echoes real life. The LASD is, has men, many scandals in recent years with prison guards beating people up and people getting killed and gangs of deputies. This is a bad, a, 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 this is real life. You know, the LASD has a lot of problems. So it's, it's quite believable that they would promote someone like Eve Ronan to become like a, you know, friendly, interesting face of the department, of course. However, her fellow deputies can't stand her. They think she's taken advantage of the situation and gotten a job she doesn't deserve. And she is inexperienced. She acknowledges this as a character. Um, but she's very determined and very effective. And she doesn't take any crap from anybody. She's a pretty hard-edged character. And in some ways, she's not very sympathetic because she knows that she doesn't deserve to be in her job, but she doesn't care. And it's an interesting kind of dynamic. Now, her partner is an old-timer, a guy named Duncan Donuts Pavone, who's an old kind of an overweight 50 something guy in a lot many many scenes in the book involve uh, detailed accounts of his completely disgusting eating habits which is funny and one thing you have to appreciate about Goldberg um, who has a television writing background he's very good at interspersing comic relief and fun writing in the middle of what's an otherwise pretty serious crime a police procedural um, now the book is called gated prey because the the main driver of the plot is um, Ronin and Pavone have been set up in a sting operation. They're, they're posing as a wealthy married couple, an older rich man and a young attractive wife who with a lot of money and they're, 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 they're set up in a gated community because there's been a string of home invasion robberies in these communities and they want to catch who's doing it. And so they set themselves up as bait. And sure enough, this gang of home invasion robbers comes crashing in to this house that they've rigged up, like with video cameras and all kinds of alarms. And they get invaded, and they trigger the alarm, and the backup is supposed to come from the sheriff's department, except it doesn't. In the meantime, Ronan and Pavone kill two of the three home invasion robbers. A third one escapes and is then killed in a shootout. Eve doesn't actually kill him, but she's there and she's kind of responsible for it, you could say. She's certainly going to catch heat for it. The question is, why didn't the backup come? And this is where the book gets pretty serious, actually, is that her fellow deputies deliberately withheld the backup. They want her to get killed. She has been doing stuff, it's her job, but she's been exposing corruption at the sheriff's department, she's gotten other deputies fired. Another deputy killed himself because of her investigation. People hate her, and they want her dead, and she doesn't care. And this is what's interesting to me about the character in and, Lee, and Goldberg. I 
don't know Goldberg, but I, I feel like I kind of know who he is. He and I have some similar background working in television in Los Angeles, and we're about the same age, is that he's another kind of white middle-aged male author coming to terms with a new kind of woman in the world. And it's similar to like the way uh, John Sanford has the Letty Devonport character and Michael Connolly has the has Harry Bosch's daughter. These are like young women, police officers or law enforcement people who are different from female characters who've come before. And I think that, that Goldberg does a very good job with this. He's created a character who, who doesn't make any apologies for herself. There's a tendency for crime writers, especially men, I think, to, to sort of compromise their female characters to make them more friendly. He doesn't do that because that's real. There's a new generation of women in the world and they don't really care what men think. And that's good. You know, it's, they're not compromising on who they are. The characters don't compromise either. And I think that this is, if I can interpret, it's embedded in her name. She's Eve, the sort of the mother of a new type of female character, and she's Ronin. Ronin were uh, Japanese samurai warriors in the Middle Ages who had lost their masters, and they roamed the countryside getting into fights. And that's kind of her character. She's looking for a fight. So she's Eve Ronin. And it's, a, it's an interesting read, and it's a good series. And I'm going to be reviewing another book in the series very soon. So if you like this kind of thing, I'd, re I'd definitely check it out.